today we're going to create this count up text animation with Framer Motion for these YouTube channel cards. To follow along, you can grab the starter code in the description. With that, let's jump in. To start, I have this simple component showing YouTube subscribers, and I filled it with information from some creators you may recognize. And this component is defined in the channel link file here. And you can see it takes information like the channel name, profile image, the subscriber count. Now, to make this subscriber count dynamic and animated, let's start by creating a variable that holds a number that animates from one value to another. So for this, we're going to use the useSpring hook from Frame of Motion, which will create a motion value that has a spring animation attached for when it changes. So here at the top of the component, I'll create a variable called spring sub count. I'll say use spring from Frame of Motion. I'm going to have it start at value of zero when I initialize this. And I'm just going to pass in a couple properties. So bounce will be zero and duration will be 1000 milliseconds. And we're not getting an error. And this is because we're using use spring in this server component. So we're going to make this a client component here at the top. Then when the page loads, we want this to update to the subscriber count that we pass in. So I'm going to do this in the use effect. And we'll want this to run on component loads. So pass an empty dependency array. And we'll say spring sub count dot set and we'll set it to the subscriber count that gets passed in. So now we have a variable that animates its value from zero to the subscriber count. Now we need a way to display this value in the component. So because this is going to be changing, I'm going to create a state variable that is a display value for the component. So I'll call this display subs set display subs. And initially it will be just a value zero import use state. Then we'll need to update this display value to match the sprig sub count value as it animates. So we're going to use a on change listener on the sub count. So spring sub count dot on change events, and we'll take the value and we'll set display subs to be value. Now let's take this display subs variable and actually display it. So here, instead of doing subscriber count, I'll replace this with display subs. And now let's try this. I'm going to refresh the page and you can see that it is animating from zero to the value, but it has a bunch of intermediate values in the middle. So to make this a little bit cleaner, instead of setting the value directly, I'm going to round it. So now I'll only show whole numbers and this looks a lot cleaner. Now I'm also going to add a fade animation here to the text because on page load for a second, you'll notice the value will be zero which we don't really want to show necessarily to the user. So here in the component, this a tag, which is wrapping this content, I'll change this to be a motion a tag. Make sure we update the ending tag as well. And we'll import motion. And then on this a tag, I'll just do a simple fade in the animation. So initial will be opacity of zero. Animate will be opacity of one. And I'll give it a transition duration of one. So now you can see when the page loads, we get refade in. So we don't really see the value of zero subs on any of them now. So that's what we have for this video. As you can see, it's pretty easy actually to make these animated counts. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And on screen now is another video for you to check out. And I'll see you in the next video.